Welcome everyone to the Battleground Kickoff Show. We are T-minus 45 minutes away from the final pay-per-view before the biggest event of the year, SummerSlam. We have some breaking news. It was earlier today posted on the community tab that Shaggy Man has announced that the WWE Championship match between Byron and Jinder Mahal will actually kick off the pay-per-view itself. The main event of Battleground will be kicking off the pay-per-view. I'm in a lost words guy. That's one of the surprises happening in Battleground. I have no idea what else is happening. But we also know the card of Battleground. We have Finn Bauer finally getting his hands on Kurt Hawkins after trying to take his money in the bank briefcase on multiple occasions. Finn Bauer finally gets his chance to get his hands on Kurt Hawkins tonight at Battleground, guys. Also at Battleground, we have the three-month rivalry coming to an end as Akira Toizawa be squaring off against Samoa Joe in a last man standing match. And when you win this match, it incapacitates your opponent. We make sure he does not get up from the count of 10, guys. That's going to be an epic match. Also here tonight at Battleground, the Boss and Hug Connection. This women's tag team taking on a team of Bliss and James in this women's tag team match. Both of these teams want to show why they are the most dominant women's tag team here on the SmackDown Live roster. That's going to be sure to be one hell of an interesting match. Also at Battleground here tonight, guys, we have for the SmackDown Tag Team titles, the Elite will be defending their titles against the winner of the SmackDown Tag Tournament, the Usos. And to make sure this rivalry comes to an end, this match will be contested in two out of three falls. You have to not win not only once, but at least twice to walk out as SmackDown Tag Team Champions. That is going to be something. Also, the women's championship will be on the line. The SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka, faces the only person that she has yet to beat on SmackDown Live. The only person who has actually beaten her, which is Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair wants her SmackDown Women's Championship. Can she beat Asuka's unstoppable reign? We'll find out later tonight at Battleground. And also, guys, we have the Intercontinental Championship. The reigning champion, The Miz, looks to prove to Shinsuke Nakamura that he doesn't have the will or desire to do whatever it takes to win the big one. Nakamura has been in this road before today, we tell. Now he has an opportunity for the Intercontinental title after winning that Fatal 4-Way. Can he finally win championship gold here on SmackDown Live? We will find out. And also, guys, the main event, which, because of Shane Man, he announced it earlier today, is actually going to kick off Battleground when it airs in 45 minutes. Jinder Mahal will defend his WWE Championship against the glorious Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode, his culmination could come quite early. His 20-year culmination of Tony WWE Champion could come literally as soon as the show kicks off as these two be spurring off the most prestigious prize here on SmackDown Live, the WWE Championship. And like, I am in complete shock that that is going to be kicking off Battleground. But let's turn our attention to our predictions as you guys, the viewers, have predicted what will be happening tonight at Battleground. First things first, let's go with Tyler Shelby. He predicts the following. Brian's going to win his match. Joe's going to win his match. The Miz, The Usos, Bliss and Jane, Finn, Asuka, and he predicts Bayou Roo's going to be winning that WWE Championship. Uh, that could be something Tyler. probably thought it was going to be main event, but Che Mary announced that it's going to be happening at the beginning of our show. We have Bullet play stuff saying that Dale Bryan will be winning the kickoff show. Finn Bauer will be winning his match. Samoa Joe win his match. Got the boss hug, the Usos, Asuka, Shisuke Nakamura, and Bayrou. Everybody thinks Bayrou will be winning this WWE Championship match. Could very well happen. Just like Lime Gaming also predicts that Bayrou is going to win. He thinks also Shisuke Nakamura is going to win. Asuka is going to retain. The Usos is going to become a new SmackDown Tag Team Champion. The boss hug are going to win. Akira Tao is actually going to beat Samoa Joe. And then Finn Bauer will beat Kerr Hawkins. We have Mr. Sleepy saying that someone is going to sleep, which I think that friend is Samoa Joe. Asuka, I mean, Charles will win by count out. Nakamura will be the new champion. General will retain. Akira will be the last man standing. And the Miz has sung up his sleeve that he will win. And he predicts that Bayrou will be walking out as the WWE Champion. And that match can be kicking off Battleground, guys. I am in shock that that's going to be happening. So we can find out that was going to happen at that match sooner rather than later. We also have Akira Toizawa against Samoa Joe in this bitter rivalry to conclude here tonight in a last man standing match where the only way you can win and can pass take your opponent for the count of 10. This match is going to be something.
target locked. Target locked. What does he mean someone else has to suffer? What, what is he talking about? Oh, Joe, the entrance ramp is that way, man. I don't know where you're going, but that's kind of weird. And whoa, 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 what? You can't just throw a fan out here like that. And oh, wait a minute. Here he is. Akira Toizawa is here. Well, guys, Akira Toizawa is very, very confident that he will settle things with Samoa Joe and he will be the last one standing here in their last man standing match. I just cannot wait for that match, guys. And also, another match will be happening actually here tonight on the kickoff show before Battleground even starts. It's going to be Daniel Bryan in his pay per view returns, his coming back from injury as he takes on. The B team's Bo Dallas, the newly formed B team. We'll see what happens there with Dale Bryan face off because Bo Dallas is coming back to his pay per view return match. And also tonight, guys, at Battleground, Ken Charlotte beat the unstoppable Asuka in her reign as champion. And can Asuka beat the only person who has actually beaten her on SmackDown Live, Charlotte Flair? One of these things is going to happen. 
and it's for the SmackDown Women's Championship. This all started all the way back at Money in the Bank in the Triple Threat match where Asuka fought both Charlotte and Sasha Banks for the SmackDown Women's Championship. This was all about, guys, the SmackDown Women's title. And there is the prize. Sasha, who wants the title, Charlotte, who also wants the title, and Asuka, looks at her, it's armbar, Charlotte, you better be paying attention here, Sasha tapped, Asuka has retained, her smack help, Charlotte cannot believe it, she, who is going to stop the Empress of tomorrow? Well, guys, I am personally interested in that match. Can Asuka beat the only superstar who has beaten her thus far on SmackDown Live, Charlotte Flair? Will we see a title change? It all happens at the Battleground pay-per-view later on tonight, guys. And also later on tonight, we have the Intercontinental Champion of Miz looking to prove to Nakamura that he doesn't have the will or the desire to be the very best and win everything that you want. But can Nakamura prove him wrong, and finally win a championship here on SmackDown Live. This all started back at Money in the Bank, where Nakamura lost his chance to become the WWE Champion. This has to be it. One, two, three. The Miz retained his intercontinental title.
Man, I'm telling you guys, that Intercontinental Championship match is going to be something else having it at the Battleground, baby. But first off, I want to personally thank Cryptic Calling for their song, Broken Promises, for the song you're listening to right now. It's off their album, Last Where You Get It Right Now, iTunes and Spotify, guys. Thank you so much, Cryptic Calling. Wow, Kerr Hawkins sure is sure of himself that he's going to win. Now it's time for our kickoff match here tonight at the Battleground Kickoff Show to kick things off before the final pay-per-view, before the biggest event of the year, SummerSlam. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Curtis Axel, representing the B Team from Brooksville, Florida. Weighing in at 234 pounds, Bo Dallas. I mean, this is the first time that we've seen the B team in like forever. I mean, we saw him before with the Miz Taraj back when the Miz won the Intercontinental title. His first Intercontinental title, I think he beat Kevin Owens. Since then, they kind of disbanded. It was announced on Twitter back then that, you know what, the B team, you're on your own now. I got what I want, the Intercontinental title. You two can spread your wings and do whatever. And eventually these two came up with the name known as the B Team, I guess. The Mr. Rogers now the B Team. Let's see if Bo Dallas is successful against the pay-per-view return of this man. I can't even hear myself talking, guys. I don't even think I can hear JoJo talking. Do you hear how loud these yes chants are? This is amazing. Daniel Bryan is back. He is back on pay-per-view. He made his return a couple weeks ago. Even though he was unsuccessful in winning the Fatal 4-Way match to determine who will face the Miz at Intercontinental title. Now we obviously know that Shinsuke Nakamura in that match will happen later on tonight. But he did have a great showing that Fatal 4-Way. It proved that he did not lose a beat. Is coming out of retirement. Now tonight, during the Battleground Kickoff Show, he can showcase his skills once again in his first one-on-one -on -one match back since returning from injury, and he's going to be facing the B team's Bo Dallas. And wow, look at this! Look at this crowd! Look at electricity! This is Battleground, guys. This crowd is excited for what's about to happen. This is only the kickoff show tell you what I mean, that, that crowd pretty much tells you what's going to be happening for the rest of the show be excitement all around all right here we go guys kickoff show match you have daniel bryan in his return match on pay-per-view and you and you hear what the crowd's behind daniel bryan against the bt members Bo Dallas. oh man daniel bryan look like kind of missed that drop kick but hey again first match back We're going right after the leg of Bo Dallas. Now, Bo Dallas, he has opportunity to really have the B team back on the map, at least in the tag team division. Because the B team, Curtis Bo Dallas, promises that they will one day become the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. But tonight, Dale Bryan is going to have his first match back on pay per view, and the B team is up for the challenge. And I mean, I guess they're up for any challenge at this point, <laughs> considering you haven't been going for almost two months. And right now, it seems like Daniel Bryan's having a tough time with Bo Dallas. And, oh, oh, about to kick him right in the chest. But Bo Dallas was able to catch him. And, oh, Bo Dallas going for that suplex. Daniel Bryan was able to hurt. First and a drop kick. That was a drop kick he was looking for earlier. And Bo Dallas wants no parts of Daniel Bryan right now at the moment. He said, nah, he's good. <laughs> Bo Dallas is good. Oh, man. Looked like that was kind of a distraction. And... Back suplex to the back of Daniel Bryan. And now it's Bo Dallas. Looks like he's in control of this matchup. Cover by Bo. One big upset victory. And only at a count of one by Bo Dallas. Daniel Bryan is able to kick out right there. We are a little over, or less than I should say, 20 minutes away 
from the Battleground pay-per-view, guys. And right now, to kick things off here on Kickoff Show, we have Dan Bryan taking on Bo Dallas. This is Dan Bryan's first return match on pay-per-view since coming back on, from injury. First singles match since coming back from injury. He did compete in that fatal four-way match and now making quick work of Bo Dallas. A huge win for Dan Bryan. He's, or I, should, I shouldn't even say Dan Bryan. It'll be a huge win for Bo Dallas. Dan Bryan, cover one. Sorry, guys, I'm a little off. It's because of that huge crowd reaction Dan Bryan got. I couldn't believe my eyes how loud those yes chants were. It almost hurt my ears. But right now, Bo Dallas is coming back in this matchup. Wait, what the hell? Did Curtis actually just throw a chair in the ring? Does the referee even notices that chair? Look like Bo Dallas trying to use that ch chair to his advantage. Hopefully the referee notices it before Bo Dallas does something dangerous. I think Daniel Bryan knows it too is why he Irish whipped him to the other side of the ring. Smart call by Daniel. The referee can do something about that chair and now to look. Distract him. Look like Bo Dallas is about to use that chair, but no. Dan Bryan saw it coming. And oh man, a knee straight to the chest of Bo Dallas. Looked like the BT's antics are not going to be happening on Daniel Bryan's watch. At all. Now Dan Bryan showcasing his technical skill. I hate to be Bo Dallas' arm at this moment. Oh man. I mean, we know Bo Dallas is a very flexible person, but I don't even think his arm knew that it could have been like that at the Dan Bryan just did. Right now, Dan Bryan has the submission hold locked in for Bo Dallas. I don't know, he's gotten tired. At least I thought he was. And now, Bo Dallas with a bulldog. I don't think that was the Bulldog, but it was a bulldog. And Dan Bryan's having none of that uppercut and. An elbow straight to the face. Finally, referee, you took out that chair from the ring. Really appreciate that you did that. Really do. Now, Daniel Bryan. Oh, man. You, again, just Tim, Daniel Bryan. This is why he's one of the all-around best wrestlers here in WWE and here on the SmackDown Live roster. It's great to see him back. He is, has a variety of moves that he's showcasing right now like this. His famous hold right here. Bo Dallas in the air. He has nowhere to go. And now look at this. Are you converted to submission hold? Will Bo Dallas tap out? Well, did you see Curtis actually react to that? Can he tap out? No, Bo Dallas at the last second was able to get out of that one. Hurricane Rana by Daniel Bryan. Dan Bryan is about to kick Bo Dallas in the gut again. Bo Dallas saw that one coming. One, two. It looked like he's about to do a 10 count. Bashing to the face from the turnbuckle, but Bo Dallas stopped that in the last second. And now Daniel flipping over Dallas, and you hear the yes chants. This crowd is excited, as I am as well. And here comes old school Daniel Bryan, dodging and elbow straight to the face. Oh man, I think we know it's coming for, yes! The famous, infamous, yes, kicks are on display right now. And one final one for good measure. Bo Dallas lights are knocked down. I think Curtis Axel realized that too. Trying to help out his friend. Bo Dallas is trying to get to the rope. I don't even think he saw that one coming. One, two, and Bo Dallas kicks out. I mean, thanks to Curtis Axel. Give him enough breathing room, I think, just to kick out. And no, damn, Brian Nelson back down. Bo Dallas is out of it. Yes. Yes, yes, and the running knee. It's over, guys. It has to be over. Count Whoa, what? Curtis Axel distracted the referee. That was totally a three count. 
And Kurt, yet again, doing his due diligence for bro Dallas. Making sure that his man is still in this matchup. Oh man, Bo Dallas. I, I think he's seeing stars at the punishment Dan Bryan has given him in his return singles match here at the Battleground Kickoff Show. Now, Bryan again for the cover. One, two, and a kick out by Bo Dallas at the count of two. And Dan Bryan can't believe it. I mean, Bo Dallas still has some fight left him. I'll definitely give him that much. Now, Bryan has the whole lock in. But Bo Dallas is able to get out of it at the last second. Oh, man, like Bo Dallas going for a running spear. But damn, Brian, you see that leapfrog that he just did in midair? Now we're going to do this again. Yes. Yes, I'm sorry, Bo Dallas. You're enduring this pain. You see Curtis Axe's face. He is not liking this. Ad. Oh, that's it. Bo Dallas' head is kicked right off. But it seems like Dan Bryan is going to be doing something else instead. Look at this submission. Really applying the pressure to the back. Bo Dallas goes with the tap out with his feet. Dan Bryan is victorious in his return match back here at the Battleground Kickoff Show. Let's show some replays for a second. And again, right there, Curtis Axel doing his best to make sure his partner was still in it. He tried. I'll give him credit where credit is due. Bo Dallas was able to survive a lot longer with Dan Bryan than I originally anticipated. But in the end, oh, is he right there? That forearm. And then again, that one knocked him out, too. And that's why Bo Dallas is dripping right there in the rope. I mean, just an amazing display by Daniel Bryan. I was personally impressed with this and then right there lights out and since he didn't was able to get him before with his here is your winner this patent is running me he did do that unique submission hold and he was able to get the victory the yes is back just like the t-shirt says Dan Bryan in his first pay-per-view win back since coming back from injury congratulations to Dan O'Brien. And there you see the WE champion, Jinder Mahal. He has arrived and he knows in a little over less than 20 minutes, 10 minutes, uh, he's going to be competing in the first match battleground because the, the WE championship match we thought was going to be the main event. But Shane Man threw a curveball at us. That match is actually happening. In the start of the show, guys, that huge curveball that Shane Man has thrown at us that the WWE Championship will be kicking things off at the Battleground pay-per-view. I am psyched, but I don't think Jinder Mahal is. But for Bayou Rude, this is his culmination, or will it be his culmination of 20-year wrestling career to culminate on this very night at Battleground, where he challenges Bobby Rude for the WWE Championship. The way this all started was ever since the backlash tournament final with Jinder Mahal shocked the world. The Colossus. Jinder Mahal hit the Colossus. Is it over? New champion. One, two, three. Jinder Mahal is the WWE champion. This could be it. 
cover. One, two, three. Bobby Roode is going to Battleground. That's right guys, we are so close to SummerSlam, but before we get to SummerSlam, our first stop comes here. This is the Battleground Kickoff Show, where we are less than pretty much 10 minutes away guys, before we hit the Battleground Pay-Per-View. And if you are an RM member yet of my channel, maybe this might be the reason why for this Pay-Per-View, become a member of my channel guys. For just $4.99 a month, you get exclusive access to loyalty badges and comments in the live chat. We have custom emojis that you can use right now during the Battleground Kickoff Show. If you're active, remember, you have the Battleground logo, that American flag, that 10 count, where you can pretty much decide who's going to be hitting the count of 10 during the pay-per-view. It's either going to be Samojo or Kira Toizawa. Make sure you hit that 10 count once the referee counts to 10 during that last man standing match. And the day you read the emojis that you use during the day you championship match is actually kicking off the Battleground pay-per-view itself, guys. And also members get exclusive universe mode pictures and preview information to upcoming shows, guys. There's never more of a greater time to become a member of my channel than it is right now. It's $4.99 a month. I'm always trying to update the perks, so if you want to see a special perk that make you want to join, sound off in the comment section below, guys. And well, guys, like I said, we are less than 10 minutes away from the Battleground pay-per-view. This is the final stop before the biggest event of the year, SummerSlam, guys. A lot can change in this pay-per-view before the biggest event of the year, SummerSlam. I mean, robberies that you think are me happening could not happen going into SummerSlam. Because not only SummerSlam has to deal with SmackDown, I'm referring to, of course, Brawl and 205 Live as well. Because SummerSlam is a tri branded event where it showcases the best talent from all three brands Raw, SmackDown, 205 Live. It's quite possibly be the biggest event here in the history of this sport, guys. I am so excited that it's coming up, but we really have to get through this first, and this night is gonna, I, I personally think this night is gonna have a bunch of up and downs before we can get that clear path to SummerSlam. 
and this lineup at Battleground probably the most epic ones we've seen thus far on pay-per-view. Of course, I'm referring to what's happening here tonight. And one of those matches where Finn Bauer, the Money in the Bank contract holder, will be taking on the master of the fats, Kurt Hawkins. Early on during the kickoff show, Kurt Hawkins says it's a fact that he'll be embarrassing Finn Bauer here tonight. Let's see if that becomes a reality here at Battleground. Also at Battleground, guys, Akira Toizawa, Samoa Joe, the three-month rivalry ends. And a last man standing. If you come and remember my channel, guys, you get to use that special 10 count emoji for the ending of this match to see who will be the last man standing. Also at Battleground, guys, a showcase of the women's tag team division as the Boston Hug Connection. We've taken on the team of Bliss and James. Both teams are scoring wins back and forth in singles action, but tonight they all come to a head in this epic tag team match see who is the best tag team and speaking of tag team smackdown tag team titles will be on the line as the elite will be taking on the usos winner of that smackdown tag team tournament and to make sure this ride between these two teams ends this match will end by two out of three falls you can't just beat your opponent once you have to beat your opponent at least by two decisions to walk out as the smackdown tag team champions that is going to be something guys also at battleground the SmackDown Women's Championship will be on the line as the reigning champion, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, takes on the Queen, Charlotte Flair, with the huge stakes right there in SmackDown Women's title. Asuka looks to beat the only person that has beaten her on SmackDown Live thus far, Charlotte Flair. Also, guys, on SmackDown, here on this brand, this rivalry's been getting personal. The Miz does think that Nakamura does not have what it takes for the will and desire to do anything to hold to the Intercontinental title. But for Nakamura, it might finally be time to have championship gold here on SmackDown Live. It happened very well tonight at Battleground. And then the main event of Battleground, I say main event, but it's actually the match that can be kicking off Battleground itself, guys. The WWE Champion Jinder Mahal will be defending his WWE title in Battleground goes on the air live when he faces the glorious one, Bayrou, the culmination of Bayrou. Could very well happen at the start of Battleground, guys. That match is going to be something out, and it kicks off this huge Battleground pay-per-view. And guys, I announced it on my community tab, you didn't see it yet. Cryptic Callings, um, Broken Promises, the final song I'm using from their album, starting with SummerSlam. We're going to have an official soundtrack for this biggest event of the year. It's going to be four songs, guys. The, the most songs that we ever used for a pay-per-view before. I am very excited for this. I've been working with the artists who made these songs to get an official license. And that's already good to go. The official album for SummerSlam will be out later this week, guys, after the Battleground pay-per-view. Probably be out by the end of the week. I'm looking towards that. But... Yeah, this album I put together showcases the best music, and we need the best music, guys, for the biggest event of the year, SummerSlam. That's why I went out all out for this album for SummerSlam, so you can listen to it for your heart desires starting next week. The full album will be out, followed by their single tracks on my channel as well, so if you don't like one of the songs, you can listen to them singly by yourself on your mobile devices, desktop devices, whatever you want to do, guys. Official soundtrack for SummerSlam will be out soon. Also, the poster of SummerSlam will be revealed during the Battleground pay-per-view. So guys, it's never been more of a time to come over my channel. You see this epic lineup for Battleground. Special shout out to SK Graphics for doing this. I mean, he's a great guy that does graphics for Universe Mode Creator. So I personally want to thank him for this epic graphic for Battleground, guys. If you become a member today, get custom badges and emojis to use during this YouTube premiere. Be a part of history, guys, for this Battleground pay-per-view where Bobby Roode will be challenging Jinder Mahal for the WWE Championship. You also have The Miz. The thing is, their kind of title against Nakamura. Asuka defends her SmackDown Women's Championship against Charlotte. That epic last man standing match, Samoa Joe and Akira Toizawa. All of that happens here tonight at Battleground. It's SmackDown Tag Team titles, Finn versus Kurt. You already saw Dan Bryan in his kickoff show match. We're already off to a great start in the WWE Championship match. The best of all is kicking off the Battleground pay-per-view. This is it, guys. 
the moment that the SmackDown Live roster, as well as myself, have been waiting for as we are entering the final pay-per-view before the biggest event of the year, SummerSlam. Right now, guys, the premiere of my channel for the Battleground pay-per-view is probably happening right now. You have about T-minus two minutes to get over there. To make sure you don't miss any moment of the, all the action that SmackDown Live Ross can be bringing you for the Battleground baby. I know I'm personally not going to miss it. I don't think you want to miss the first part of the show because the first part of the show, the main event, is kicking it off. The WWE Championship match between Jinder Mahal and Bobby Roode will be taking place at the start of Battleground. I am Crater, guys. Thank you so much for being part of this channel. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. And all that's left to do is head to the final pay-per-view before SummerSlam Battleground.